All right, uh, let's try to prove that uh, summation n goes from 2 to infinity of 1 over n times natural log of n diverges to infinity. As you might recognize this series, since this is a typical example for the integral test, but uh, I'm going to try to prove this without using the integral test. All right, so before we uh, get started, I'm going to assume that uh, we have this following result. Let's say you have a non-negative decreasing sequence a n, right? Then the summation n goes from 1 to infinity of a n, and the summation k goes from 0 to infinity of 2 to the k times a sub 2 to the k converge together or diverge together, right? So let's try to use this. Um, I will put the link in the description for the proof of this result. So if you are interested, uh, please check it out. All right, so I'll make sure that the an is uh, non-negative and also decreasing, right? So what's the first one? Uh, a2, right? So a2 is 1 over 2 times natural log of 2. a3 is 1 over 3 times natural log of 3, which is uh, obviously less than or equal to 1 over 2 times natural log of 2 because the denominator is larger. And the uh, same with the 1 over 4 times natural log of 4 and so on. And uh, there is uh, nothing negative about these numbers. We know that uh, they are all non-negative, right? So which tells us that the sequence an is non-negative and decreasing. So we can apply this result. So instead of tackling the original series, I'm going to tackle the summation k goes from 1 to infinity, 2 to the k times a sub 2 to the k. So basically, we're going to replace n by 2 to the k and then multiply by 2 to the k, uh, which gives us this. All right. So you can see that the 2 to the k is on top and bottom, so we can cancel those out. And uh, you have a power k by using the one of the log properties, we can place the power k in front of the natural log of 2. So we'll get this, right? Then since uh, 1 over natural log 2 is just a constant, we can place it in front of the summation. So we have 1 over natural log of 2. Then remaining uh, sum or the series is actually a harmonic series which is known to diverge to infinity. So therefore, uh, infinity times 1 over natural log of 2 is still infinity, so it's going to diverge to infinity, right? So therefore, the original series, uh, which is summation, n goes from 2 to infinity of 1 over n times natural log of n also diverges to infinity, right? Uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.